Good afternoon. Uh, this is your brother Bob from Berlin, Maryland. It's good to be here this Saturday, uh, September 14, 2024. Um, before we begin, I would like to first of all, on behalf of all of my brothers here, the OTEC pros and all the founders and affiliates around the world, to wish our one and only CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara, a very, very, very happy birthday. Um, I want to thank you, Mr. Ash, on behalf of all of us. Thank you uh, uh, to your family. Thank you to your wife. Thank you to your parents for having you and for sharing you with all the founders around the world. So thank you so much, Mr. Ash, and happy birthday. Welcome, my dear viewers around the world. Welcome. It's good to see you here again today. Um, we have our own Unpassive Nation. We're hoping to have the dynamic tree of Unpassive. That will be Mrs. Degamo Ellis and Street. We don't have Mr. Street with us today because he had some prior engagement, but he's crying, not being here with us. And we also have some amazing ladies. Another trio, another trio of Unpassive. That's my sister Comfort, sister Francine, and Lady Mino, together with my brothers of the OTEC Pro. So we'll come to you today, very excited today. And if you have been um, in touch with, with what has been going on in the past few months, couple of months, and if you've been following keenly, you'll realize that our founder, Mr. Ash, has been preparing us for something special, something very special indeed that we decided to converge here today with this powerful crew to come out and tell us exactly what we think to inspire us and to ignite us based on anything that we've heard from our founder, Mr. Ash Mufara, in the past few uh, few weeks. We believe, we believe very strongly that uh, as far as on passive is concerned, we are aware at that point where we are bending the curve. We are bending that curve from what it used to be an ideology or, uh, no, sorry, uh, uh, an idea or um, a, a concept or a, a thought. We are bending that curve towards reality. And we have none other than our one and only, the man that I call the the the, the habinga, the bearer of the news, the man who, who knows how to ignite, inspire, and educate all of us. And that would be none other than our brother and friend, Mr. Mike Ellis. Welcome, Brother Mike. No, thank, thank you, Bob. And, and you're so right. We have something very, very special coming. And today, it's going to be a really, really fun webinar for everybody. Uh, why is that? I'm going to talk about the money today. And I know everybody likes to talk about the money. And I, I want to start the webinar, and I, I want you to answer a simple question in the positive. It's not maybe this might happen. I want you to answer it in the positive. And the question I have for everybody out there is, what are you going to make with on passive and answer it in the positive and you don't, you don't have to do it out loud do it in your mind in your in your mind's eye but what am i going to make period as if it's a done deal okay now once you get that that number in your mind i know all the negatives are going to flood into your brain okay i got the number well well, that's nice, but how am I going to do this? What am I going to do? How is it going to come to fruition? And that's okay. Today, I'm going to tell you how that's going to happen. Okay? That's pretty cool. There aren't too many businesses you can come into, have a number in the back of your mind, and know you're going to make that number. I'm going to tell you how to do that. But before I get into that, I, I want to talk about... Uh, a little phrase that Ash said, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks ago. And he came on and he talked about business in general. And he said, listen, it takes 10 to 15 years to start a, start a business, develop a business to a place where you're, where you're actually making money. And he's right. It takes a great deal of time in order to develop a business, get it to the place where you want it, where you're making money. Okay. 10 to 15 years. Now, the first thing I ask myself when I look at any business is time. Time is the number one thing in everything. And obviously, obviously, if I tell you it's going to take 10 to 15 years to get to the place where you want to be, most people are going to go, oh, well, no, I don't want to do that. Either you don't have that much time or you're young and impatient. You don't want to spend that much time. But Mr. Mufara was right. It takes 10 to 15 years to develop and build a business, okay? 
There's more to that. Not only does it take the 10 to 15 years, but it's that initial, that, that initial sprint where you become competent enough to actually build a business. And that time can vary. It can go from four years to 10 years to 12 years. If you look at Marty and I, we've been doing this anywhere from a decade to two decades. We've been doing it a very, very long time. And it's taken a great deal of time, especially for me. I'm a little slower than most to become competent enough to do what we do. So when we think about on passive and we think about what Mr. Mufar has gone through, yeah, it took that initial jaunt to get to the place where he could actually come in and start building on passive. And that timing was probably 10 years. Now, Mr. Mufara, when he first started, it was slow initially. It always is. But he became competent enough to become very, very successful in what he did online. And we are talking about a business, a online business. That's what you have. That's what OnPassive is. You have a business within OnPassive. And Mr. Mufara took that, that first six years, 10 years, whatever it was, to get to the place where he could start building on, on passive. <clears throat> now, when we think about on passive, we think about a 10 to 15 year period, right? Well, not with Mr. Mufara. And if, if some of the nefarious things haven't, hadn't happened within on passive, it wouldn't have been the last seven years developing and building on passive. The time frame would have been much shorter i.e. that's what Mr. Mufari does. He's he's very, very good at what he does. And because of that, he's been able to do it in seven years. He could have done it in five, four or five years if some of the things hadn't happened. But it is a done deal today. I think it's really, really important that you understand that. Mr. Mufar has done everything he needs to do. That's why this month is a very, very special month. So how are you going to participate participate, how are you going to use what Mr. Mufar has put forward to get to the place where you want to be? How, how does that happen? You already got your number in the back of your mind. That's terrific. I'm glad it's there. But how are you going to do that? And I want to talk about Dan, Marty, and I, and how we approach any business when we initially start to come in. Uh, and, and I think we all do this in a little different way, but we end up in the, in the same place. As I look at a business, when I come in, Number one, I, I look at the business and I look at the products of that business. What do the products look like? Are they good enough to get out there and actually uh, introduce people to? They'll come in and, and buy the products. So as I do that, I look at the time frame. How long is it going to take me with a particular business to come in and get to the place where I want to be? And the first thing that I do after I've looked at the business, after I've looked at the market, after I've looked at the products, I look at the amount of money I'm going to make. That's kind of what we all do. What can I make with this business? And as I come in, the number really is irrelevant. Okay. I don't care what number you have in your head. It is irrelevant. And when I start to think about what I can make with, an, with, a, with a particular company, and today the only company I think about is on passive. So this, this, this pertains to on passive. When I think about it, <clears throat> I, I think about not only the time frame. But I take the number and I work backwards, okay? So here's the number. Here's what I want to make, whether it's 100000 a month, whether it's 1000 a month, whether it's 1000 a day, whether it's 100000 a day, whatever the number is, it does not matter. Working backwards, you can kind of figure out what you need to do and how long it's going to take. And as Marty, Dan, and I do that, because of the skill sets we've developed, we know there, there are a group of things we need to look at and how quickly we can do that. Uh, we look at the market. We look at the, the, uh, the text that we're going to have to develop. We look at the landing pages. We look at the sales pages. We, we look at the videos we're going to have to make. Then when we get that stuff done, we, we, look at the, we look at the traffic source. We look at the testing. We look at how long it's going to take for the traffic to come in to test the things to get to a place where we can scale it. And all of this stuff that I've that I've talked about, we can take any one of these items and we can spend an hour on each one of those items and get the ball rolling because they're very, very big items. And I know me, most people out there are going, you know, I'm, I'm hearing all this. I'm hearing about the text. I'm hearing about the, 
the landing pages, the sales pages, the videos, the autoresponders, the scalability, the traffic. And most people are, are out there and they're saying, listen, I can't do that. Number one, I don't have the inclination. Number one, I don't have the time. I, I have a family. I work. I do all these things. I don't want to do that. And that's okay. And I'll give you a good example of, of just how time consuming it can be to learn all these different phases in marketing online. And I'll take the tech pros. As they came in, they started to do webinars, right? And I don't know how long they've been doing webinars, maybe a year, two, maybe two and a half years. You've been doing it quite a while. And it took a certain amount of time to come to become efficient, to become competent at doing what you do. And today you do a really, really great job. Does it stop there? Not even close. Once you learn how to talk in front of an audience, you have to understand what audience you're talking to. Yeah, KYC, know your customer. And if you're talking to affiliates, you talk to them in a certain way. If you talk to customers, it changes completely. And you have to learn how to do that. And I know each and every one of them are doing that today. But it takes a great deal of time to be competent in this area, then go to the next level, be competent there, go to the next level, be competent there. That's what's involved with all the, all the elements that we use to market online, Marty, Dan, and I. And, and as I talk about that and people listen to that, I, I know you're going, well, I, I, I just can't do that. It's impossible for me to do that. That brings us to on passive. When we start to think about Mr. Mufara, when we start to think about what he went through to get to this point in on passive, it's a done deal. It's happening this month. And you understand what he's done. He's done it all for us. To start with, Mr. Mufara has put all the products together so that anybody, I don't care who you are, if you're a grandma on the, on the West Coast, if you're 18 on the East Coast in Maine, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what your skill set is, you can come in and be successful in on passive because of what Mr. Mufar has done. He's put all the tools together that we can come in and use these tools, very, very simple to do, engage in on passive, do what Mr. Mufar asks us to do, and you will be in a situation to do exactly what Marty, Dan, and I have done for the last 10 years. And that's a really, really big statement. But once you start to understand that, yeah, I can do this, all of a sudden that number that's in your that's in your mind, whether it's a thousand dollars a month, whether it's a hundred thousand dollars a month, or in a week or a year, whatever the number is, whatever the time frame is, it really is up to you. And when you start to understand that Mr. Mufar has put this together, not only not only to build a really massive company you start to understand that he built it for you, but he didn't leave you out there on an island. He didn't leave you out there on a cloud. You can come in and actually start participating participating with OnPassive, engaging with OnPassive, and actually be able to do the things that all of us here are doing. And you can probably do that. In fact, you can do that and stay anonymous. You're not gonna have to come out and talk to anybody. You're not gonna have to do videos. All the content that 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 needs to be developed, Mr. Mufara is doing that and has done that. So it's a really, really neat place to be to understand that if your goal is to make $100,000 a year or, or $1,000 a month, whatever that number is, you have the ability to come in and do that very, very quickly. Now, when I say very, very quickly, understand to build a business takes 10 to 15 years. Mr. Mufara has made it possible for you and I to come in and do it very, very quickly. And some people will come in, whatever that number is in the back of your mind, and you're going to be able to do that in months. Some people will be able to do that in, in, in two, three, four, five months, several months. Other people, it might take a year. Other people, it might take two years. But with the understanding, as you're doing this, your income will continue to grow as your own passive business grows. And that will happen weekly, monthly, yearly, until you get to that place where you have that financial independence. Money is the reason we're here and on passive. If your business does not cash flow, you have a hobby. Okay. I love, I love that people have really, really good thoughts in their mind, things that they want to do around the world to help people. 
that's awesome. I don't want you to lose those things, but I want you to keep in mind, unless you cash flow, all you can do is give moral support. That's it. And with on passive, because of what Mr. Mufara has done, because of the structure, because of his vision, you're able to come in and build that income that will allow you to actually do those good things that are in your mind right now. On passive, it is a business. And when you think about business, and really, I got this whole impetus from Marty DeGarmo. He was on a webinar, uh, I don't know, a week, two weeks ago. He does so many of them. I can't remember which one it was on. But someone asked him what he thought he would make in on passive. And he just threw out a number out there, didn't think about it that much. It wasn't that big a deal. And he said a million dollars a month. And people went, what? What? A what? You can't do it. Well, because of the thought process we have, we can do that very easily. Because of what Mr. Mufara has done, you can do exactly what we do. You can do that very easily. I know there are people around the world that if they can make $500 to $1,000 a month, it changes their lives. They go from poverty to middle class to upper middle class. They do very, very well. Some of them go to making more money than most of the people in the country make. Depending on where you're at, it might be 1000 a month. It might be 10000 a month. It might be $20,000 a month. You know, six-figure income, seven-figure income. Whatever it is, because of what Mr. Mufar has done, if you come in, if you engage, if you listen to the people on this panel, they know what they're talking about. And just do the small things you need to do because of what Mr. Mif Mr. Mufar has done. You're in, you're, you have the ability to live that lifestyle you want to live, to get to that place of financial independence, to do the things you want to do. So as I think about on passive, as I think about what Marty, Dan, and I have done, the thought process that goes behind it, what Mr. Mufara has accomplished in a very, very short period of time, really seven years building a multi-billion dollar company is unheard of, especially in the, in the tech industry, as the, as the tech pros will tell you. It just doesn't happen. It takes a great deal of time to do the things that Mr. Mufara has done in a very, very short period of time. And today... As Bob said, we are in a very, very special moment. And it's not a moment where you have to hope you have to hope for. It's actually going to happen. And Mr. Mufara, as he comes on and starts to explain what's happening in the next days to come, this is an exciting place to be. If you're not here and on passive, you probably want to explore on passive a little bit, a little bit more than you have. It was made for you. It was made for me. It was made for everybody that's here. And we're there. We're in that special place, and it's going to happen this month. So I'll turn it over to Marty. Uh, there are a lot of topics there you can go into, Marty. But bottom line, on passive was made for you and I to get to get rid of all the BS that's out there, all the things you had to go through. And today, you can actually start a business and know you will be successful. Marty, I'll turn it over to you. Hopefully, that made sense. Excellent, Mike. You made perfect sense, and we're still being on passive, so you did good. Um, <clears throat> wow. I didn't know really where I was going to go, but I do know now. I know when we came into, into the business of working online, or whatever you want to call it, we came in and didn't know that you needed tools. I didn't even know you needed a toolbox. So we started off buck naked. We didn't know anything. I saw people, I knew people that made money, and I said, if they can do it, I can do it. And every day that went on, and you're you're fumbling around. The problem is, it's like trying to master to be a surgeon, and you have nothing. You don't even have professors teaching you how to be a surgeon. It's really wacky. So I'm going through this thing, bumbling around and listening and going to webinars. And I keep looking at this one or 2% all the time going, I think there's got to be more involved than just be looking pretty, you know? So, because I'm not going to make it if it goes by looks, right? So I went on and on and on and on. And, and as you go, you get this, this thing comes up and says, Marty, you need a wrench. You need to have a wrench. So what is it? Well, you got to figure out how to share whatever it is you're doing. 
So I go by what they told me to make a list of everybody you know, all your family, all your relatives, and tear it up. Rick, I could do that. People love me and my family. They don't love me so much anymore. But anyway, so you go to your family, you do all the things. My family does know me. They knew I if I was doing it, it must be unbelievable. The problem is I was putting my trust and faith in a business and a person running that business that I don't know. So I jump in. They they know me. Oh, Mark, we'll go. Not all of them, but a lot of my family would go in the beginning. And this is me. Oh, I got it. I'm not putting two and two together. Remember it. I want to be a surgeon. I'm not even in the operating room. I've got I've got a wrench. Okay. So I'm, I got people. I, I got 10, 15 people. We get in. We buy the products. And time's ticking. Because in 30 days, i got to buy that product again, whether I even use it or even like it. Okay. So I would force myself to like it most of the time. So I'm going and going and going, and I've got family members who are not as gung ho as I am. They're saying, fly, Marty, fly, because we're going to hold on and we're going to fly together. I'm like, break, I'm having trouble walking. So I go on and, and I'm going, okay, what now? What now? What now? Well, you got to get traffic. W what's that? I got to go in my car and go. No, no, no. You got to get people to come look at your stuff. And I went, how the freak do I do that? And then I'm thinking, I got to get people to come look at my family stuff too, because they're not doing it. It's my big mouth that brought them in. Well, you can go to Safe List or you can go to uh, traffic exchanges. What's a traffic exchange? So I went to, I'm going to take a little bit longer today. Sorry. What's a traffic exchange? So I went and I, I go to this place and you put your name in and you put your product in. You can put your link in. I go, cool. Didn't know what that meant, but what it really is, is there's 5,000 people in this traffic exchange. They all put their link in. So you're sharing the links. And, and, and in order to get, to get um, credits, you have to look at X amount of pe other people's business. So I'm, I'm clicking every 30 seconds, looking at somebody else's business, and I'm going... I'm slow now, okay? I'm 42 years, 43 years old. I'm in a new field. So I'm going, wait a minute. So I'm sharing what I think is the best thing in the world with other people that are sharing things that they think is the best thing in the world? This is insane. Now, I didn't notice this in an hour, okay? I'm Like I said, everybody was doing it, so I got to go longer. Me being a psychopath, I went, wait a minute. I'm going to make, I'm going to have my own traffic exchange. I'll drive the people to the traffic exchange somehow. And everybody in there, I can put my post in the top. It'll be there forever. Yeah, that's me. So I go to eBay. I find a, a script. I make a, a traffic exchange. I had five or 6,000 people on it. It's before I met Mike. So I've got all these people in there and I got my ad there every day. And, 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 and really, it started to work. I would bring in one person a month. Now, newsflash, the 10 family and friends, the first month, 30% of them quit. I said, guys, I got one person. I had to give those people to somebody else to try to get them to stay in. This is no joke. So I go, wait a minute, this isn't quick enough. So me being the guy, I went up, who is the main person? I never met the CEO. You always meet the guy under him or the woman under him. Guys, this ain't working. I'll throw on more fishing lines, but I need more area to find people. Well, they got safe list. What's the safe list? Oh, they work pretty well. Naive, I went in and I joined every safe list on the planet. I'm, I'm not kidding. I had across the top of my screen in 35 tabs, different safe list, logged into all of them every morning and went click, 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 click. Okay, now I'm getting three people a month. I'm on fire. The second month, as this is starting to work, now for me, 
three was fantastic, not knowing you need a couple hundred a day. Okay, I didn't know. So I'm going, going, and going, and going, and going. Third month, I'm driving traffic, and I'm getting phone calls from my family going, hey, Marty, that link's not working. What link? The one to, uh, to the products. You're going to be shit. So I go, wait a minute. I'm looking for a chicken's ass. No, I'm just kidding. So I go, and I say, I look at the link, and I click it, and it's going to 504 or 405. You guys know that code, right? That code means kiss your butt goodbye. That's what that code means, right? So I go, and I go back to the regular website. It's not there. Down for maintenance. That was in 19, uh, 2004. It's still down for maintenance, okay? 25 years later. It never came back. So I go, now I got to go explain to my family, genius Marty, guys, it, it folded. I thought you said it was great. I thought it was. All right, don't call me again about any of this other. So I kept moving. No joke. I know I'm making this long, but I want to let people know what we have at the end, why I'm here, why Mike is here. So I find the next business. Now I'm alone. I write horrible. I'm not really good at I didn't know what an autoresponder was. I never got to the need for three years that I even needed one. What am I going to autorespond? One person? I can send an email. I'm done. So I move on to the next one, the third one, the fourth one. They got a little better, a little better. Then I go, wait a minute. I know how to advertise. I'm going to join 50 Twitter accounts. 2006, 2007. Got them all on the rotator. I am killing. I'm getting the traffic, okay? I am definitely getting traffic. Are they targeted? No. There are a bunch of morons like me doing something, but I've got a bigger, I'm throwing more crap on the wall. So you get a little bit more that sticks, if you know what I mean, right? So I did that. And, I, and I'm going, oh, this is great. Now, right about the end of that, now, remember, I'm going through businesses because every one of them are gone in 90 days, maximum, maximum. And then you start, I'm getting smarter. Every rock I turned over, as Bob Takusi would say, I kept finding what I didn't know I didn't know. So I'm getting more tools and putting them in this box. I had to buy the box. Now I've got a wrench, a hammer, and a screwdriver. I'm a surgeon. I want to be a surgeon. None of that shit works, okay? <laughs> But anyway, I got to build something. I didn't even know what I was. You're grabbing for something. During the whole time, every business I was in, the guru or the gurus is telling me, you're doing great. Keep going. Okay, I hate to say that. No matter how nice anybody is, a lie is a lie. Why do you keep doing what you're doing? And you're going to be a millionaire if you live to 2,500 years old. Right. You don't put that together. You just hear that a boy, that a boy. And here's Marty, the freaking sheepdog, just running as fast as I can and can't do any of it. I still am lost. So I said, OK. So then I'm looking and looking. I go, wait a minute. I could do something. I need more traffic. I'm running out of family members. They won't even let me come to picnics. Right. I mean, the whole family gets together and they're like. Is everybody coming yet? Yeah, don't invite Marty. He's a pain in the ass. He's going to have us join some freaking magical unicorn or whatever. Uh, uh, okay. So I go there and I don't talk about it. In fact, they come up and go, hey, what are you doing now? You know, I'm like, now they only did that a couple of times because I also would punch you in the nose for it if you made fun of me. But so I get done with that about 10, 12 years ago. I could drive traffic now. I met up with a guy. I meet Mike Ellis. I'm on a webinar with a guy that did very well. He owned seven subways. His poor son died, drowned in a pool or whatever. And I'm listening to him, watching him, and I'm going, and I'm learning. Now I'm I'm, I'm actually in the toolbox is getting full, and I'm actually got one scalpel. So I'm getting tools that are starting to work to cut somebody open, okay? What I went in for, the, and I know I'm dragging this out, but I have to. Because you got to know what you have your hands on. So I, I do all that. I, I'm in a webinar arguing with this guy. Because now I'm, I'm now I'm getting mad that I don't like the idea that you're telling people they're doing great. 
because it's a lie. You don't tell somebody, hey, you're swimming great, and you're on the east coast of the United States, and you got to swim to Europe. No, I'm not. I'm going to drown at 200 feet. Don't tell people that. Yeah, it's okay to encourage, but not lie. So I've learned stuff from this guy. Mike's in the audience. I didn't know it. And I said a few things, and it was an argument and all that. And So Mike contacts me somehow. I can't even tell you how. And we're chatting. No, I believe what you're saying. Oh, thanks. You're the only one in seven years. But anyway, so I'm thinking this guy's got to be a blockhead too if he believes me, right? So we get together. And there was a guy in California. He actually helped build the back the back area for uh, Dr. Phil. He was a nut from California. Now, he was a seven-figure earner, though, but he was a nut. So we get in there. We're there. What are we supposed to do? It was called... I can't remember. Who's Wukar? Something weird like that. So I said, okay, what do you do? Now I'm meeting guys that are making money now. I've learned enough. I could drive Trump. But I'm meeting people that I'm not just talking to up to them, I'm talking directly to them. Now, I'm still broke. But they don't know it because I talk like a millionaire. Okay. No, I'm sorry. You gotta you got to walk and talk where you want to be, not walk and talk where you are now, or you won't go anywhere. So we're there, and Mike's with me, and this nut wants to make – he had a good idea. He started using YouTube's long and short-tailed keywords and making short videos like Ash is doing now, but not a lot, just a few. We need to drive traffic, right? I said, Twitter. So I go back to Mike. I said, Mike. We could drive a quarter of a million people to his account with that video. I just put it on all 50. I'll rotate it. And then I find an app that will take your Twitter and bounce it back to the top. Because every time you make a comment on a Twitter, it moves to the top. Aha. So I find one. I got to manipulate it so it goes through the rotator. So it, And I'm telling Mike, Mike's going, oh, okay. Now, now he's starting to wonder. Who the frick is this idiot? So I get it kicked in, and I we ran a quarter of a million views to this guru in California's website, his, his, his YouTube. It was a video. He's like, how the frick did you do that? And I'm explaining it to some guy, and, and he, I could tell, you know, when you're explaining something, you get halfway to it, and he acts, he's nodding his head, but he ain't listening to a freaking word you're saying, because it was too complicated. Well, you put them on a rotator, and then I put it on 50 channels, and I put all the channels up, and I click a button. And they don't want to hear that crap. And it was a caveman way to do it, but it worked. So me and Mike are doing that, and we did that for a year, and this guy, I don't know what, what happened to him. It died. It never turned into anything. Then we did, this is the one that mattered. We get into a business that's going to be a game app on a phone. I thought, ooh, that's big business. Uh, you know, Candy Man, Candyland or whatever it's called, million dollars a month back then. I'm like, holy cow, for what? So, <clears throat> yeah, we could do that. <clears throat> we had like two or three months to build people. So me, now, now Dan joins us because he's not wrapped too tight either. Dan can write. I can do videos and I do whatever I do, right? But together, we would talk every day. What do you want to do? Hey, let's get in this game app. We could blow this up. How? I have an idea. Of course, it's not going to be simple. It's not going to be something everybody can do because it's completely bonkers. I said, I'm going to open up 32 groups in Facebook and put the name of each NFL team at it and say, Philadelphia Eagle fans, and then all the all the football teams. Then we're going to make a post with all the teams in a square and ask at the top, who is your favorite team? Okay, you know men, they have no thought at all. They saw sports, and they couldn't wait to put their name in. Build up the Eagles. You're full of crap. It's 
Cowboys. That's all I wanted. We got a million people put in their name. So while they put the name in, I post, would you like to join the fan club for the Philadelphia Eagles? Yeah. A few thousand joined that, a couple thousand joined the other one. Now we've got 50 channels with thousands of sports fans coming in every day. So I go, this, this is great. We're gonna, As soon as they turn the app on, we're going to be rich. And, and we would have been, no joke about it. So the app comes, and we get a little taste of it. And I'm on there. Mike's on it in Colorado, and so is Dan. And we're playing it while the game's on. And right away, I'm thinking, I hope this thing's more fun than it looks. So I'm going and going and going. The freaking game was no fun. So I'm like, what the freak? Dan comes back and goes, I don't know. I, Dan, don't say it. I get it. Now, this is four months of sending ads out and getting this big team build up. We still have the groups. Dan called me last week and said, hey, Marty, we still got people joining these groups. I know. Don't get rid of them. Because for me, that still leads, right, down the road. But that happened, and then it folded. The game was no fun. It was no fun. And then we went to another one, another one. Then the last one, the guy made a million dollars in one day. He won the lottery, really, because he couldn't duplicate it again. So we went there, and we stayed there a year, spent $100 and $120 a month. And we went to a meeting, and his girlfriend, they were into a beautiful woman and perfect little kid walking to a private jet. Oh, that's stupid shit. So I go, oh, great. So we listened to him. Mike said, no, we got to go. We're not staying here. Mike, just wait. You got to wait. I was wrong. Mike was right. I'm going to say it in front of everyone. We should have left. We didn't. But anyway, so finally... His girlfriend comes on and goes, we're going to go, we're going to do training in Facebook. Now, I already knew how to drive traffic. That, we knew I could drive traffic, targeted traffic, no joke. So she comes and explains how to drive targeted traffic in Facebook. I'm watching her and Mike is texting me, right? Marty, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay, Mike, just hold on. Maybe there's a surprise. So she goes, Okay, I'll, if you want to drive traffic, traffic and want to go to school with us, it's going to cost you $7 a lead. So I write the guy that's running it, Mike, Michael, Mike. What the freak? I'm not paying $7 a lead. I can get him for $0.35 cents a lead. No, you can't. Yes, I can so we did all the stuff, and I showed him what I did. He took my stuff and started doing it. Come back and goes, I can't believe this. And we left. And the company never launched. One year, paying over $100 a month. Right then, I talked with Mike and Dan, and I said, I think I'm done. I can't. We could, we could build something, but if we do... We have to let go of people. We have to act like they're a number, just like everybody else. If we do that, we can make we can make money. I believe it. But that's not me. And you know it's not Mike. And you know it's not Dan. We're in an industry that is corrupt. But every business in the world is like that. The, the, the ones who have, have more, and the ones who have, have less, have less. So... Just get ready to quit. Now, look at the goal that we're looking for. We're looking for something where everybody gets a fair shake. Everybody can win. Wishful thinking. That day, I told Mike, and I said, I think we're done. The first comment was we could build our own and make a miniature marketing platform. We could have done that. We just didn't have the money. I had a, a, a very small budget that Dan could afford. But given the budget, we could have done anything. We just didn't have the money. Anyway, so even when we got good, what I wanted to say, we wanted to bring people with us. 
So we would stop and try to help people. It, you can't duplicate what you're doing. It's a lie. Part of the reason why I'm in Unpassive after five and a half years going on six years is for the very reason that I just told you. When I got that day, I saw Peter Rogers. I said, what are you doing? I didn't go after a guru. I went up to somebody I trusted. Oh, we're doing, you know, Peter, right? Kind of laid back. We're doing a thing called Long Pass. What is it? So they started telling me about it. Told me it was 97. I thought 9700 or 97. I didn't know. It was $97. Now I'm thinking, oh, it must be crap. It's too low. But I was thinking small. I wasn't thinking global. My, my fence was right here because that's the only place I could ever get to. Ashley Farron ripped the fence down, right? You know about the pig and all that stuff, right? Wow. So I go back to Mike, Mike and Dan, blah, 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 you know, and they joined just so I would shut up. But Mike had seen it earlier and didn't even do it. So we joined. We talked again, didn't get the info I really wanted or Mike wanted or Dan wanted. I said, we're going to have trouble getting to Ash. He doesn't know who we are. There's 17,000 people in at that point. I said, we're going to build this thing in a bubble called on Passive Nation. You guys know it. And we're going to build it. And we're going to build relationships at the same time, not knowing the full concept of on Passive. Because I believe if you know the people like my family here, nothing stronger than that. That's how you get what you call an ideology. That's where you build something from here. So we did it. And I said to Mike and Dan, I think they remember me saying, I said, look, if we make a big enough splash, if Ash is who we think he is, he'll contact us. Four months later, he did. And the rest is history. But what I want to tell you during all that time, I was looking for the schooling. I was looking for a full, a, a, a full uh, tool kit with the case, and every drawer has every tool I'll ever need. And the part of the biggest part of that tool case is other people being able to do what I can do or what Mike can do. And when I opened up that bottom tool case, it was a tool case with everything, and it was called Unpassing. And everybody can do it. The things I worried about, the things we fought over, the money that we spent, learning these little tricks and little trades. And remember, I was laid off. I mean, I was on disability. I worked this 10, 12 hours every day for 10 years before I ever met anybody here, 15 years, really. And when I saw it and when I, we started to dig through this chest and saw that Comfort and Bob and Minnow, Oliver and Vincent is going to have their hands in all this, and you're going to be superstars. And I mean this for anybody watching, even if you're not an unpassive. I couldn't wait to do this webinar. You have the full tool chest with everything in it from targeted traffic. And when I say targeted traffic, I mean you're aiming at a person that wants what you have or has at least looked it up online. Given all that, for a measly $97 to have products that are AI, the best in the world they will be. Why? Because our CEO is a fanatic about having the best. He's a fanatic about everybody doing well. Not just the normal, he's a fanatic on it. During all the crap, you know what his biggest day was? When they could pay the people to start making money. You know what his worst day was? when the merchants dropped the ball and he couldn't pay the people. But all the crap that went on, the fire is burning and the village is getting, it, it's all on fire. Who comes walking out of the smoke and the fire out move far? If he can do that, I'm not going nowhere. And we're about to have a re, a re-explosion, I should say. And uh, we all need to be part of it. I wouldn't go anywhere else. I don't want to be anywhere else. And by the way, there's the little tricks that you can even add to the box of diamonds that Ash is giving us from traffic to the tools, to the web pages, to build your own, to schooling. I, I, I would not be surprised if every sector on the planet will be in that box 
from health, energy, whatever you could think of will be in that box if you if, if you jump in. I'm not kidding because he doesn't think about yet and tomorrow. He thinks about 10 to 15 to 20 years ahead. And what do we have to do? You have to pull the drawer open and grab the tool you want. How hard is that? I'm done. Thank you. Hey, Marty, let me let me just say a couple of really, really quick things, because you, you went over a ton of stuff there. All of it awesome, Marty. But early on, you, you said something that, that really uh, everybody feels. We had nothing when we started. Absolutely nothing. We had no skill sets. We had no idea how to build a business online. We absolutely had nothing. And that's where most people are right now. And that's why the last part of what you just said, Marty, on passive has take has taken care of that we have nothing. And and I want to I want to mention one thing when when Marty Dan and I came into on passive we worked it for a while we got a hold of Ash got uh, we got along with Ash very very well and and Ash came on with Marty Dan and I and he said listen I want you guys to do what you do. And Marty, Dan, and I are going there. Well, well sure. We'll, we'll, and and he, he wanted us to do that for on passive. And we said, sure, we'll do, we'll do that. And then Ash got off and Marty, Dan, and I, it was on a Skype or, or, or webinar, whatever it was. We got off and lo we're looking at each other. And, and I think Marty was the first one to say it. He said, what the hell do we do? We didn't even know what we did, how we did it. It was just something we just did for, for 10 years. We didn't know we had anything that people would even want. And it was really, really cool that Ash would come on and say, do what you do. And then he left it at us to figure it out. And, and, and obviously we did. But but I wanna I wanna end just very, very quickly. I think you understand what's happening with on, on passive right now. You know that the the tools what you what you're going to be able to do is build your business. But it's really, really important to understand, number one, the products of Unpassive. They are superior to lower price point. Marty just said it. They're the best of the best in the world. And when you start to think about that, you start to think about, okay, that number in my mind, the money, the money. How am I going to make the money? Are the markets big enough? And that's where I want to just very, very quickly touch on it. We thought the markets were very, very large up to about a year ago. We oh, thought they yeah. were bigger than 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 anybody would ever ever need. We have a market that's probably a trillion dollars a year. In other words, that's our market. That's the amount of money that could be coming into on passive annually. Because of what Mr. Mufar has done, because of what he's gone through the last year, our markets are bigger than that now. It's not just a trillion dollar market right now. And the reason I say this, you have to look at a business, does it have longevity? Does it have enough money to, to get me to the place where I'm financially independent? And when you start to think about a trillion dollar market that we get to tap into through on passive, is that enough money for you to make $1,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 50,000 a month? $100,000 a month, million dollars a year, seven-figure income. This is what Mr. Mufar is bringing to the table. And when you start to think about that little number in the back of your head, you're going to start to realize, well, that's a pretty small number. I think I can do better than that. And I can tell you, you can do better than that. <laughs> and you're going to find that out this month as Mr. Mufar comes out and starts to explain the things. Bob, I'll turn it back over to you. Uh, sorry if I took too much time. And Marty, it's never enough time. Oh, no, 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 Mike. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brother Marty. Thank you, Brother Mike. Um, That was just awesome, amazing. What did I learn from Mike when he spoke earlier? He said, what do, you want, what do we want to make? What do you want to make? That's the question. He said, you can make, you can get whatever you want from Unpass if the system is built for you. It's built for you. And then um, what do you want to make? Is it a million a month, 100 a month? It depends on you. That is the kind of system that Mr. Agbufara is bringing in there. He says the, the unpassive model is for you. They're going to eliminate all the corruption and all the stress that they went through. And then, of course, Brother Amadi came, he used the metaphor of the surgeon. He says, you want to become a surgeon, but you have no training. And they struggled, struggled, struggled throughout. He gave us their journey. And what happened at the end? The conclusion was they were about to give up. 
then came on passive, that manner from heaven that we always say, and then it has everything, all the tools and everything that we are trying to become. So in effect, as Father has cloned himself, he's cloned himself and he's replicating it amongst everyone who comes into on passive. So having said that, thank you so much for coming. I know we're going to come back to you guys again. But we also have some dynamic, magnificent ladies here with us tonight. So I want to switch now to the ladies. And one of the most significant women of Unpassive is none other than Comfort Comfort. Comfort, I know you've been following through the past couple of months. I just want you to pick up anything that you've heard from Mr. Ash and then just ignite us, uh, you know, motivate us from any angle that you can take. Whatever Mr. Ash has said, anything that you picked that was significant or touching to you that you can bring you can bring to light thank you thereafter i'll call on my brother collins manner to come in and then we'll just go back and forth real quick oh my god thank you uncle bob yeah, i'm not sure if anybody was observing me on the screen i could not stop giggling because i've been longing to have this what marty just did like forever there's one time i yeah. wanted marty mike ellis and dan street Marty did not come. Today you wanted three of them, Dan did not come. But yeah. what I was putting them together to hear was this story. So I could not just stop giggling. I was like, here you go. But about whatever you did, you get the wind blow so hard. I saw everything today that I wanted to see. Thank you. And Marty, I'm sure we were coming here to ignite and motivate. I'm afraid I got so ignited and so motivated that I don't know where to begin from. But then listening to marty uh this afternoon i'm not ignoring what mike said but i want to dwell on this because we don't hear this every day marty whoever is watching us online now you want to watch this listen again ask yourself why is marty telling me this because if you don't listen to this then you have no idea what ash is doing like so right now where i find myself with the analogy of the surgeon, you want to be a surgery and you, you just think that you can turn around, find a piece of the old knife in the kitchen or something and start cutting people. It doesn't work like that until we get how Martin went. Right now, we have everything. I just feel now like a little brat. And because why we have that, that shop, that storehouse where all of these tools are in there, which is called the unpassive ecosystem, so that when I find myself there, I am just like, I find myself in a candy shop and I'm just speaking and throwing and play with them and do this. And you know what? I am not going to go through what Marty, Dan and Mike went through because I can't, I can't. And why? Because Mr. Mufari has got my back. The candy shop is there. I am the kid. I just get excited when I get in there. And I pick it up, I say, I love this. I'm going to try it. How do I get this? Oh my God, it's doing well. I love this, I love that. I just pick it and play with it. It's my blessing. Thank you, Mike, for going through that, and Marty, and you share it. This is how we learn how to appreciate on passive. If you don't listen to this, you will not appreciate what is sitting in front of you. You will not even know. You will not even ask, where is Ash? What is he doing? Because you have no clue what is happening. Listen, let's step back to Mike earlier on. Mike asked a question, what are you going to do with what you make? There could be gazillions of answers, but he answered it with the only one ultimate answer. It is, it doesn't matter, right? It's irrelevant because everything is set and done for you, you know? So one thing again, Mike says, all of these tools, Mike and Marty, I know they agree because they've been doing this together. All of these tools are sitting there and waiting for you and myself. If we want to look at what Ash says, and uh, my brother Oliver likes this, when Ash says, you cannot climb a ladder with your hand in your pocket. Pick up these tools, play with them, test them, throw them. I try this one, I don't like it. I like this other one. Uh, how do they do this? And how do I open this and stuff like that? Because they are sitting there and waiting for you. Wherever, how far you want to go now depends on you. Because the tools are sitting there in a the box, easy to use. Even if you don't know, you doubt how to use this one as A, B, or C. That's how simple it is. Take your hands out of the pocket, warm up, stretch your fingers, do some massage and stuff. Because the moment the storehouse is open, the tools are waiting there, just inviting, come for me, come for us. We are ready for use. So if you are not getting ready, if you have not listened to Martin, listen again. I think we should snip this out explain why people should listen because you want to listen so that you know 
what is waiting for you. If you have not been preparing, you want to start getting ready now because what is happening now is just like a woman in the in the labor room. She's there and crying, the baby's coming, da, 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 da. At some moment, pop, you hear the cry of the baby. When you were not ready, this baby may sleep and fall on the floor. So get ready, guys. Something is awaiting us. After listening to Marty, imagine what's happening. And it's just, it's just normal. Because when they say all is done for you, it means that you will not go through what Marty, Dan, and Mike went through. I could not stop laughing. I'm happy my microphone was off, right? So what is happening now? I just want to take it big, a bit spiritual. If you are religious, like some of us will get a bit more religious. The Bible says you should study to prove that itself what, worthy. So do something. We're not saying that you should go to the university, go do some work or so. Get ready. What am I supposed to do? How? That's all. You are not supposed to learn and go to Twitter, go to create 50 accounts, go, you can't do it. Maybe you can, but I cannot. It is just crazy what I'm listening to. I've heard a lot from many, many people. So many answers. I've spoken to a few people. This week I spoke to Daniel Sani of Papua New Guinea. He said, and Mike, I think this also answers your question, what are you going to do with it? Daniel says, we are not here to make money, but we are here to uplift each other. Does it mean we did not come for money? No. Does it mean we don't need the money? No, we do. We yet, of course, yes, we do need the money. Yeah, that's why we're here. But then what do you need it for? How much of it do you need? How much of it can you like spend here on yourself? You know, what matters now is what you are going to do with the money. And so get ready. That's why you see the part, the, the, the intention, like Bob Takusi would call it, the intention of uplifting humanity. That is what we should be working on because any other thing is being taken care of. So we are, Brother Bob, we are fine. We are focused. We're ready for prime time. Personally, I am just very, very empowered, more empowered to them than I have ever been before listening to Marty and Mike. Thank you, bro. And I'm happy I really came today. Thank you for opening the doors for me. Fired up and ready to go. That's what we'll say. I like when you say you are like a kid in the candy store. That's what Mr. Ash has done to every business. Big or small, and that's what that's what he says in his original thought when he's creating on passive. He says, We're going to create equal opportunity for all. So you have everything, whether you're a big business or a small business, he's going to give you the tools, like my our brothers have said, he's going to give you the tools, and it depends on you how far you want to take them to. You cannot put your hands in your pocket and climb the ladder, like Oliver says. So well, well said, my sister. So we're going to call on my brother Collins to come and also give us his perspective while Sister Mino is waiting in the flanks. To come up after calling. So the manner from <laughs> heaven. Take it over. <laughs> ah, bravo. It's not easy to 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 even say anything after Madi, you know, Mike Ellis, you know, come for the game. Powerful lady. You know, they've said it all. You know, but if I want to say, I will quote, you know, the the, the most famous African writer, Chinua Achebe. He said, Before you even eat with the elders, you must wash your hand clean. You know, and Isaac Newton always says something as well. He said, if I have seen far, it's because I stood on the shoulder of giants. Marie de Gamo, Mike Ellis, you know, comfort, comfort. They lift, us, lift me up. Let me say, I'm talking about myself. Because the first audio I watched, a video was Mike Ellis. Even before I joined, when I joined on Passive, the first, you know, video I watched was Mike Ellis. So I'm always inspired by him. And then comfort pulled me and said, you know what? I wasn't a great speaker. Honestly, I'm doing all of this. It's thanks to comfort. I wasn't a great speaker. I was zero, zero like this. You know, normally I'm really a shy person. I don't even like talking in crowd. I like to keep myself in my own little corner and do my own stuff. Comfort said, come on, Collins, you can do it. I said, no, I can't. Let me tell you everything, and then you go and say, I say, come on, I can tell you everything. You take it, go to the public. I'm not a social, social media person, but yeah, I am today. Thanks to Madi Digamo. Madi Digamo said, you either take it and run, or you 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 flip your, your wings, and then you fall like a fly. But now here today, we can say a lot about on passing, which is really, really great. But let me look at it in another way. 
you know, they said everything happened in God's own time. Whatever happened, it happens in God's own time. We cannot force it. We cannot twist and turn. You know, like one of the, 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 the preacher, when I go to church sometimes, the father or reverend priest said, sometimes we need to come with a plain sheet for God to write his own will and sign it. Let us not come with our own will and then tell God to sign. God is not a, somebody who just put a signature on something that you've written. You know, and as the Bible always said, it said a thousand years is like a day in God's eyes and a, a day is like a thousand years. Whatever is happening on passive is natural. It happens in millions and millions of companies. Sometimes I was, yesterday I was discussing with one of the founders and we're just chatting. I said, tell me one IT company. I said, people will say, oh, on is like any other business. I said, no, it is typical. It's an IT company. Show me one IT company that has brought affiliate in. I started calling the likes of Google, Amazon, when they started building, you know, Facebook. These are all IT companies. And she was like, oh, you are saying something really true. I said, they will bring it after they develop and you will be buying product. And sometimes you buy product on their platform for company who are using their platform. They build software solutions for company to come and participate. And when you are participating, you think you are participating directly to the company, but it's a lie. You are participating to those companies who are using those their platform. On Passive is here to build software solution for medium, small, large, and whatever corporation. We will participate on those companies, not on Passive, because they are provide software solutions. They are here to provide a solution to the world for companies to come and participate. If I know. I will be a multi-billion or trillion dollar company. Elon Musk have done it. Tell me how many affiliates are in Elon Musk company. None. Zero. Zero. He didn't come with anybody. SpaceX, Tesla, we can name them. Tell me any affiliate. But when you go and trade, you are trading to what? To the site. Where people come and put their business and say, well, we are doing this, doing that. But Elon Musk is making money. He doesn't care about you. Google doesn't care about you. All of them. Ash came with us. He said, come and feel my pain. Come and see the struggle. Come and see what is happening in IT industry. That is the true story. Now, I don't know about you. Let me talk about myself. When I joined on Parsi, there was three things. That was in my mind. Can I have time and financial freedom? Because they said they will provide it for me. That was one. Two, can I leave a lasting legacy for generation to come? Yes, somebody will say, but you have not had it after six years or Yes, that is true. Can I learn as much as possible? How many of us, those who are plugging, will say, I have not learned? I have learned a lot. Because that wasn't even part of the plan. It was time and financial freedom and leave lasting legacy. But when I came, I said, no, I cannot come as an affiliate or a founder, fold my arms without knowing what the company is doing. I've learned so much in it. And the bonus of it, which was not even in what I was thinking, is about connection, connectivity, having a family. How many of us who have plugged in have said, I don't know someone in Bangladesh, in Papua New Guinea, in America, Without on passive, honestly, maybe the two people on my screen now is Vincent and Comfort. You know, Bra 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 Bob here yeah, was our, you know, friends, you know, people from the same town were born. But honestly, on passive brought us back together. Bra Oliver, maybe I wouldn't have even known Bra Oliver. Mino, you know, Mike Ellis, you know, Maddie Digamo, Down Street, all of these people, you know, Francine here. We can go on and on and on on passive of just connect us. That is the bonus of on passive. We came for time and financial freedom. On passive gave, gave us bonus to know people across the globe. That is networking. Those who don't even think about it, we have a network of people where I can land in USA now. And I said, 
Mino, where are you? Mino said, Collins, wherever you are, I'm coming for you. I can jump somewhere and say, no, I know Francine here in, in, in Senegal. Francine will say, Collins, I'm here. You know, I'm here. You know, it's just a lot. It's crazy. If you look at the network of Unpassing, we have built that family, that united family, where we have learned so much from each other. And through Unpassy, we have empowered ourselves. I've learned marketing, stuff that, you know, something that I wouldn't even in my highest imagination think about it. I've learned so much. That is a, the bonus of Unpassy, that we create a network of people where we can boastfully say, and we are thinking about this. People will say, yeah, you've not get the commission. Now, when the, the apple will start, let me call it money, as, as Mike Ellis will always say. When it comes, I have the network of people that I will seek advice from. Whatever I want to do. You know, Mike Ellis, I want to do humanitarian from this. Where would they come from? On passive, 1.4 million. And those who have plugged in. Those who have not plugged in, where will you get your advice from? Zero. Zero. Because you were just there for one thing and one thing only. Apples. And when the apple comes, you're going back to your old dreams and boring things that you've been doing. And what will happen? It's not on passive who will fail you. You fail yourself because you refuse to create that network of people that can guide you, support you, and really help you to fulfill that dreams that you want when you have the excess. That is why I'm in on passive. To build the network, to leave lasting legacy, to make sure I have the time and financial freedom to do good to humanity. Because when you still live in the old place of those who go nine to five, when you pick your phone and call them, say, my friend, I'm working, I'm not on passive. Who do you associate yourself with? None, because you never build that network. I build a network of people who have time and financial freedom to support me. Where I can phone Mino and say, Mino, I'm here today in Cameroon to do this. Mino say, in two hours time, you will see me. Can you do that with those who live nine to five out of the, the, the out of that community? Zero. This is what Ompassi have done to us. Give us the time and financial freedom. Give us a lasting legacy for generation to come. Give us that network where we can reach out to each other to build that, 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 that particular thing we want, you know? And above all, give us the heart of giving. That's what I will say. So I just want to thank you, Bob, and thank everybody who is watching now. And thank my brothers and sisters here, Mino, my Ellis, Dan, you know, Dan is not here, but my brother Oliver. You know, we are all, you know, great people. And we are, when the time comes, we are really ready to do great things. Thank you all. Well said, my brother Collins, well said. That is the key. When the apple starts coming, who do you associate with? Have did you build that network? Did you prepare yourself? Have you are you ready? Like Engineer Mike always says, are you ready? You know, you're ready when you know what to do once you get the apples, when they come and when to seek for advice on how to look at the look at the benefit of the knowledge that we've received from Brother Madi, Brother Madi and Mike. We know that we have that relationship with them. And I know that I'm going to call them when that time comes because there are some things. We cannot put our hands in our pocket to climb the ladder. How much do you want to make, like Max Elix says? How much? Is it $1,000? Okay, fine. I want to make a million dollars a month like Brother Madi. And he knows how to do it. So I'm going to I'm going to be on him and Mike Ellis with Dan Street. You know, so thank you very much, my brother Collins. Let's listen to the wonderful and always amazing Sister Mino. Mino, over to you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to reiterate to what you said, Collins. My chest is pumping. I'm excited and I have butterfly in my stomach. I was not planning to stay here for the recording. But guess what? I welcome that excitement. I like those butterflies in my stomach because I'm in the same wavelength with you. Whatever you guys say resonates with my heart. And this is the definition of unpassive, inclusiveness. inclusiveness. Thank you for making me feel welcome. Um, I'm too excited. Okay, so if you guys want to all be igni ignited, listen to these webinars. Come to these platforms. Uh, when it comes to training time, take training. Listen to insights and follow whatever resonates with you. 
whatever gives you goosebumps. And this is giving me goosebumps. So learn the skills, new skills. Follow, follow leads and um, trust uh, whoever you trust the most. Follow them and learn from them and expand your ideas. Expand your horizon. Be excited as I am. Um, I love you guys. I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sister Mino. Hopefully, we'll see you tonight at the birthday celebration of Mr. Ash. Thank you so much. We might have a date there. But let's call on my our brother, um, Vincent. Brother Vincent, um, mm -hmm. we've been together. We've been through this journey for the past three, four years, head to head. <laughs> I mean, the past two months have been very, very interesting based on what we'll be hearing from Mr. Ash. Please, or you can take it from any angle, whatever mm -hmm. is in your mind that you want to share with us or if there's anything in particular that you want to expand or to ignite and motivate us. And then we'll call on Sister Francine after that. Okay. Thank you, uh, thank you uh, my brother Bob. So thanks all the speakers because uh, it's a great journey like my brother Bob is saying. Yeah, we've been here for four years and thanks also to Marty, he's, he's back. Yeah, I hope everything's fine now. So today I will take in different angles. So in yeah, different angles because I will not talk, say anything about technology, <laughs> but I will talk about motivation, motivation, even what we are doing here, sitting here together is a motivation. Because without motivation, we wouldn't be here. So it's great to talk about motivation, to motivate those of us who are sitting outside there. Maybe they don't get it, the, the reason why they should be motivated. So motivation for me is, is like a powerful force that also drives us to achieve, you know, our uh, success and always also our goal. So without motivation, we cannot achieve our goal. So this is also a great thing for us to, to, to go for. So without motivation, we can lose even the, 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 the goal and then even never get the true potential of us. Because with motivation is not there, you can get your potential. You can know, Sister Comfort, who you are. Because of motivation that we can show your potential, what you can do. This is a great thing. So whether you are maybe, let's say, we are starting a new project or maybe a new career or anything you want to do. Imagine if the motivation is not there, you cannot transform yourself. So the motivation is the fear that prosper you to forward. So without that motivation, you cannot go forward. Without even motivation, I cannot talk now. I cannot speak to you. So maintaining, like I know my brother Collins always say, the good mindset. So maintaining a positive mindset is also crucial for staying motivated and also overcome with uh, obstacles. So if you don't have a good mindset, uh, you, you cannot be motivated. So that's very important that we should know about that. So when we are motivated, we have also a clear sense of purpose. So like, uh, and even the direction where you are moving to, if you, don't, you are not motivated and then you are doing things, you don't know where you are going. You can't know even your, your direction. You could be a good speaker, but if you are not motivated, you, you don't know even what you are saying, and then you, you, you can't see forward. So only thing you, you see, you, you listen to bad people, you have a bad mindset, the motivation is not there. So we should, uh, we should uh, maintain our focus and remain committed to our goal. All this is a uh, motivation as well. So when you let's also so motivation also give us strength because if you are motivated, you give us strength and then also give us determination to push things forward, even in difficult time, and then even keep striving for excellence. Because with motivation, you are doing something, you fail, but you can see, keep doing because the motivation is there. So we should keep motivated and then also forward and be behind our uh, leader, Mr. Ash Mufara, for what he's doing. So it's also motivation between him. Without motivation, I think he could not do the work he's doing. Because in every single step we are doing, sometime in our life, sometime we can fail and then wake up and move forward. So what makes us wake up and maintain our spirit, our force, is the motivation. If I go for the exam that I failed today, if I'm not motivated, I will say, no, I'm not going for that exam again because I know if I go, I'll fail. So the motivation can make you come back so what we need to do, all of us, we should be motivated and then stay focused.
for what is coming forward and then what is coming. So we should also another power powerful to stay motivated. You should surround yourself with uh, uh, positive influence people, people like Makeles, people like uh, Marty Degamo, people like Wotek Pro Brothers, people like Sister Comfort, uh, Mino, Sister Francine. This is people you surround yourself with them. You, they will keep motivate you. And then they will give you some uh, good advice, even some wisdom word, share some experiences with you. So we keep moving you, going forward. So that's also, they can also, the challenging experience of their life, the challenging they face it, they can share with you. All this can motivate you and go forward. So we should also remember that, uh, and also acknowledge and appreciate our own efforts. Because if you appreciate your own effort, and then it will also motivate you and then give you a confidence and to continue forward, moving forward. So the motivation is a key in our life. So today we should all understand that we should be motivated to, for this where we are in on passing because the situation where we are, where we are now is to be all engaged, all motivated, and then be one united behind our CEO behind our captain, because he is the captain of the boat. So we should always do. And then experience, be motivated like him, because even everything we are is going through, he's still motivated, he's pushing the thing hard. Who is doing that? So if all of us, we are motivated like him, and then we are being like him, we should be fine, like my brother Oliver said, we are fine. So what we should do now is the motivation. So. Thank you, brother, for this keyword today. So today, what we all need is the motivation. So we are more motivated than ever. Thank you. Excellent, my brother Vincent. You know, I like that you just focus on the on the actual topic to be motivated, and it should be it should it should be a constant attitude. Okay, it should not be an occasional act like Dr. Martin Luther King said. It has to be a, a a, a constant attitude, not an occasional act where you are motivated at some times, you are not at some time, oh, this happens today, or oh, I'm that today. It has to be a constant attitude because one, we have someone who has put everything on the line for us. He's put everything in front of him. He's working night in, night out, day in, day out for all of us. All we need to do is to stay, have that positive attitude and mindset for him to be able to forge ahead. So let us call this uh, brilliant lady that I called, she's the auto translator, the real life auto translator. If you know who this woman is, she's the only one that I know, uh, except it's AI now that is coming to challenge her. Because as we are speaking in English right now, she's translating it in, in real time in the chat. I don't know, I think we locked the chat today, but we could have seen magic if we had our chat open. You see this woman, she is translating in English as we are speaking in the chat so that everybody gets what we are saying. So it's my pleasure to welcome our one and only sister Francine. Please come on. I know uh, you can just take it from anywhere you feel uh, like you can today. And uh, the microphone is yours. Everyone, everyone, you just make me laugh because um, I am not related to that person you are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And um, I am very happy today because we had such an inspirational session. That session is much more inspirational because we touched the technicality of on passive, the very first steps where uh, Marty exchanged with us the process. A process takes time. And where we were returned by Mike talking about what do you want really? What any one of us want is not, could not be exactly the same. And I was moved. I was really moved by that. Why, why am I moved? I am moved because I recall our CEO uh, sometimes back talking about the, the track our world is engaged in. 
I don't know for you, but for me, on a daily basis, I am really interested in knowing what is going on in the world we live in. I am coming from a very poor background and uh, I suffered and I was always fighting up to today. I mean, every day my, my thought is uh, that has my maid eaten? Are the children who come here getting something? And when I met on passive, I heard the CEO talking. I said, that person may have something in common with me. It spoke to me. And that pushes me on a daily basis to listen, to listen to what is going on in the world. And I recall the CEO talking about that. And he said that, we are tempted to lose hope. We are tempted to lose hope. Whenever you turn on your TV, whenever you go to the shopping mall, whenever you are in a flight, wherever you, wherever you go, you are tempted to lose hope. Why are we losing hope? We lose hope because we realize that everyone around us is running for a well-being they never find. They never find. You will have someone, he has 10 cars and he's not happy. He has mentions, he's not happy. Something is missing. And when I listen to Ash Mufare, the thing which is missing is love in whatever we do. If we instill a bit of love will still keep hope because love will resolve everything. And the inspiration he had to put in place on passive was motivated by love. And he, he touched areas like our life of on a daily basis, managed by IT. IT is very cold thing. You know, when you have a computer, it's very cold. Now that we are bringing AI within it, we start interacting, feeling something warm, looking for something different. And what on passive is bringing is much more than that. Because that day he said we are losing hope because of what is going on in the world. He said that what could be better through IT and that is where on passive is going to make the difference. While listening to Marty a few minutes before, Marty said that he did several experiences and he met people who were so selfish that they, they just evaporated. They took it, it didn't work. He went to some, but he didn't got discouraged. He was, he was having something within himself that keeps pushing him to do more, to go more, one more mile. And uh, that IT will make the difference in practical education. We see that in on passive. We have something called academy. And the people who conceived that academy had something very specific. They wanted to, to, to touch inside the human being. To, to, I remember one uh, webinar where we were presented academy like reaching, allowing people who cannot go, for instance, to Harvard, to have the same class, like those sitting in Harvard. This is a revolution. This is something a poor lady that I am today would never expect it. Meaning I can decide today with through academy to sit in a, the best university in the world and say I can afford it. So IT is becoming something warm, something that gives you hope, something that tells you you can still be.
whatever you want to be. And uh, I like the flexibility within what uh, on passive is bringing because as said, as uh, Mike said it, it's up to each one of us to say, okay, uh, my target is 100,000 K per month. And some other will tell you, no, my target is 10,000. So what do we, how do we impact the environment we live in with the target we have imposed to ourselves? How do we make a better world with the target we push, with the goals we have fixed to obtain, to, to attain? So I am very, you know, I am very happy because I have been blessed to live different lives and to know the world the, the, the way I know it. And on passive has come to me at the right time. At the very right time. That's why some sometimes we, we say something when the the teacher comes when the student is ready. Marty has gone through all these years working, doing what he knows the best. Mike did the same. All of us have done the same. And here we are gathered here because I think we are ready. The students are ready. We went through the valley. We went with on passive. Those three months have been very tough for us, but we had only ourselves to count on each other to say we are here we, to, to stay, we, are need, we need to win. And the world outside us is in such a mess that I think the student is ready. We have something to do today for the world and it is not for granted that we are here. We are here to realize that and on passive is about to take off, but let us do what is right to do, to keep on the relationship we have among ourselves because the intention was heard. And today things are coming the way to democratize IT with heard. That's how I call it. We are the united family of on passive and we have to deliver to the world because now is the time, not tomorrow, not after tomorrow. Now is the time and we are humbled to be here and to know what is waiting for us outside there. Let us make it happen. Thank you so much. Wow. All what I can just say is, wow, thank you. Thank you, my sister Francine. That was well said. I don't know where to take it from, but it just, you just have a unique way of piercing. Your message has a unique way of piercing through. Okay? So thank you and God bless you. We are fine. We are fine. <laughs> we cannot end this evening without hearing from the man who reassures us day in, day out. You know what this guy does? Every morning he wakes up at around 4 a.m. when his head is clear that is when he listens to everything that has gone through that day and then he makes his assessment before coming to tell us we are fine oliver fonte please tell us we are fine <laughs> hi everybody happy to um, uh, saturday and um, i want to thank everybody that is here today yes we are fine and we are the eagles we the unperseverance we are the eagles each time there is a setback is that it gives all that gives us that momentum to fly higher and that is how the eagle does it and that's why I always say, we are fine. We had Mr. Ash has given us a business. Zero risk. We've transferred all the risk to him. There's something in IT security we call, we always transfer the risk. How do we transfer the risk? It's like your insurance, your car. When you buy a car, you insure your car. And that car, when something happens, the insurance pay. Mr. Ash Mufara is that insurance. We've, what, what, what have we done? Nothing. He has taken all the risk. He has taken all the risk, the bullet, everything, his family lives and his everything. 
He has sacrificed his life. He took that risk for us. And what are we going to get? We are going to get something that is our generational world compounded. Because he took that bullet. He took that risk. We, we have a business that never heard of, never seen of. We've never seen it in, in, in this world. Not only that, he has he has he wants to balance and, and that that equality between the poor and the rich. On passive, we the on passivians, we are going to balance it. How? The structure of that he has put in place, the structure that he has put in place, nobody comes to on passive without passing you and I, all of us. If there are two billion people in our network, if there are two billion, one billion, three billion, five billion, like he said, the whole world will be in our ecosystem. There will be, there will be between you and I, all of us, the world we share among all of us. How beauty can that be? Where are you going to position yourself? When Mike Ellis, Madi Degamo, our people, they've, 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 they've explained us the way they came through and they, and they got themselves into unpassive. <laughs> Mike Ellis said, your money is going to be unlimited. It's on you to define it. That is it. If there are 2 billion, 1 billion people in our network that are verified, real people, real people, Look, guys, carry it. Mike Ellis said, you can, if you want to make one million a month, you can make it. You want to make how many million? 100,000 a day, do it. That is the magic that Mr. Ash Mufara has given us. Why shouldn't you be patient? Why shouldn't you take that time? Oh, what we need to do, that Mr. Ash needs from us, is to dream and to follow our goals. What are our dreams? What do you want to get? How do you want to impact the world? That is just all he needs from us. Like my brother Collins and Bob, they've talked, comfort my sister, uh, Francine. They, they've articulated well to us. But let me come now into the business side and where I am also in IT. Yes, we always said we are going to make the we are going to make the money. If you know what is, I don't want to do that. what I don't want to use. If you know what is in the IT industry, being in the industry, companies are going to jubilate when Unpass will go to the market because they are going to buy our our application and our software. All those bottlenecks within companies, our CEO is going to break them. Those licenses where they talk, we talk about licenses means that. Inside the inside the company, inside each company, you have this other software company. They will come, they will say, we'll sell you 100 users who use this particular product. Let's say Microsoft 360, you do 350 people or 100 people use it. This is the cost. This amount of people, this is the cost. Our CEO is going to break all those bottlenecks. It's going to be cost effective. Companies are going to have more money in their pocket. Companies are going to have to give more bonuses. Company, companies are going to retain their employees. Employees are going to be very happy. More money will be will circulate in the economy. The world economy will be booming. Because OnePassive is a global company. OnePassive is a global company. With all this, the world, people will be happy. People will rejoice. Look at our video conference. Do you people know companies are going to save money from that? All the money that some of the executives are flying from one country to the other, now they will sit in their office. They will have those meetings in their office for, to displace one executive from one country to go, out, to, to go, to go solve a problem. Madi has been in this. He knows better. You fly in the first class. You sleep in an executive hotel, that money now will stay in the company. And our video conference, O-Connect, you sit there, you talk. Now, 
you talk as if we are we are the same. But it's not going to be the same because we have different different kinds of futures in our own country that maybe some we don't we don't know. When they come out, we will know. Guys, we are not going to be in the stock market. We are not going to be in the stock market. Nobody's going to push Mr. Ash, our CEO, around. Your data will not be out there in the market like any like any others. Your data will stay with us. Company will trust us and they'll come to us. That's why when I look at people, they keep asking certain questions. I just tell them, please go and listen to Mari, listen to Mr. Ash, where he talk. Listen to him four times. Then you make your evaluation. When I talk to my brothers, I hear Vince, um, Vince and Bob and calling them every day. We analyze all these things. Like, like my brother Bob just said, because when I wake up, I always get up around 4 a.m. And I listen to about four times. Then when I come and before I, I, I fire up or I go to work, I make my notes, I analyze my stuff. And with that, I know we are fine. There's no way that you will say we are not fine. We are not in the company. The, the CEO just came and told us that we are coming back positively with positive changes. We are bouncing back with positive changes. That we are taking a curve. That curve is coming back with positive changes. Look, guys. Dream big. Dream big. Mike Eddie just said it. It's on you. We are on a... a, a, a Madi always said that we are on a plain field that any every concord will land on that will land on that running way so it's unlimited everything we have here is unlimited the financial freedom that we are talking about why are we not going to be fine well you know how to plan you know how to give an account for what you are doing that accountability also for yourself. Tell me why we are not going to be fine. Tell me why we are not going to be fine. The company is coming back. That the CEO told us that they are restructuring. Restructuring in a good way. Company restructure. Company go through restructuring. And the way he is, we've not seen him for two weeks. Guys, he told us 30 days, September, this, this month. Even if that last minute, wait, give him that time. Wait, give him that time, he will deliver. He has told us that he has taken control and he has taken that control. He will deliver. Don't panic. We are in a good place. We are in a good place. You know, listening to him, you look at, when he talks, look at him, look at his body, his body language when he talks. You know that we are fine. He told us that when we, we, if we can come behind him and see what he is seeing on the screen, you run and go to the Michigan River and cool off. <laughs> so those statements, those statements should fire you up. Those ashes statements should fire you up. You have to understand when he comes and talk, listen to him, listen to his body language. And he said he's doing all his possible best to come and give us nothing but concrete information. He treats us like family. My brother Collins and the rest have come for the year. They just say that we've, we've created a family, an unpassed family. If I go, if I go to Denver, hey, I say, hey, Mike, I'm coming to Denver. Please. I will see Mike. If I go to Senegal, my sister is there. If I go to Australia, Nira is there. If I go to PNG, David is there. Anywhere, South Africa, I'll see somebody. Kenya, I'll see somebody. UK, I'll meet somebody. That this is the beauty. The love of unpassive and the foundation of unpassive set by the CEO is you and I, all of us. That love, that human part of it, we got it. We are now one. We are now family. And the world will be in a very better place. And we are going to transform this world by more than 10 or 20% in less than two years. I believe that. I believe that for what we are going to make. So, guys, hang in there.
believe, have your dreams. Can come out with a strategy how you are going to manage your money and how you are going to, you know, better. Thank you very much, Bob. And I uh, want to thank everybody. You know, bye. Bye, I'm not ready to go. We are fine. We are fine. Where are you going to? <laughs> uh boy. So for, for me, let's see. Let's see. Um, Oh boy. So everything has been said. I'm just going to wrap up something that has been in my mind for a while. I think it's time for me to say it now out loud as my own motivation. Having heard from everybody, Brother Madi, Brother uh, Mike, and all of you, it's something that is motivated, is coming from my late brother. Some discussions that we used to have at late hours of the night. So as we bend that curve now, as we are at that point where we are bending the curve, I think it's becoming, but it used to be a theory. There's a theory that we call it's a theory. It's an imaginary theory. The Amgus theory, AMG, is the Ashmufara Global Sweep. It's imminent. Because we're at that curve now that we're bending down, and it's possible. We say when the people... Let's, let me use a... I'm sure Chris Johnson is going to love this. Because I'm going to use an automobile, automobile metaphor. When the, We say when the pistons... When the pistons are hitting the cylinders for maximum torque... That's to give the car the most powerful force, the speed that it needs. We, will rea we are realizing the Ashman for a global sweep. And how, how does it work? How does it start? We know that the day don't in Australia. That's how Ashman for is going to impact the world. It's going to come like a sweep. It's an imaginary theory, but it's possible. Because the day don't in Australia. While we are asleep, Australia is up. While on passive is up, Australia is up, the sweep goes there and everything is happening in Australia. And then within the next maybe couple of hours or so, it's down India, pa Pakistan, Bangladesh, China. That's almost 3 billion people. They wake up. That digital ecosystem that we're talking about. And then in a few hours, Europe wakes up and Africa and Middle East wakes up. And then all 5 or 7 billion people that are online, they find themselves inside our, inside our ecosystem. Like Oliver said, that ecosystem, you are identified. They know who you are. We know who you are. It's the most trusted digital system that the world has ever known. You are identified. You can't hide. It's trusted. You have digital trust. You know that you come in there, you relinquish your personal information. You are safe. We are not going to sell your data. That is why Mr. Ash Mufara is saying that we are going to build our own economy. Our, our own economy. When he said that, hmm, it rang a bell, and that's what my brother has just confirmed. Because there's no one in the IT, there's no vendor management manager, there's no IT man, there's no CEO or CIO who uses IT products that is going to use the products of unpassive. The superiority of the products and the built with a guaranteed security. There is no CEO out there that is going to use her products and say, hey. They're going to tell everybody else. That's how they're going to come to us. Because as Mufara is saying that, I'm going to give you, you're going to pay less. You're going to pay less, but I'll give you more. A value, it comes in with value. Value is, is, a, is a sacred source of unpassive. It's going to give you more value, but you pay less. And then you're going to do more. The system is going to work for you. And give you more. So that we can obviously match it. Because that, that is the fundamental reason for creating unpassive. So the Ash Mufala Global Sweep is imminent. It's a juggernaut. It's an unstoppable force. Nothing can stop. He told us that by himself. Nothing is going to stop it. Only God. And God is with him because the intention is well synchronized with, her, with him in the universe. So I'm going to call on uh, Brother Mahdi and, and, and uh, Mike maybe to just wrap all of it. If there's anybody else who has anything to say, I know we are almost at two hours. If there's anybody else who has anything to say, come on down and then we'll wrap it up. So, brother, brother Mike, what do you have to tell us to conclude? Yeah, no, uh, Bob, uh, absolutely awesome uh, webinar. So much to say. We, we could spend another two or three hours talking about on passive easily with 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 everything that's been brought up. But but I really want to end my part of it, and I want to uh, I want to reach out to where most of the affiliates are today, and meet you where you're at, and and I want to. Uh, I want to talk about something I know. It's not something that uh, I think might happen, will happen. 
I know. And if, if you can come to the market and you can have a superior product, and I've done this in my career on a very, very small scale compared to on passive. But if you can bring us a, a, a superior product at a lower price, mm -hmm. you own the world, period. And because on passive has superior products at a lower price, it is unlimited and unlimited equals freedom. And that is the assurance of on passive. Not only do they have that uh, superior product at a lower price point, not only do they have that, but they have a way for you to actually market those products online. And when you listen to Oliver, when you listen to everybody here, when you start to think about the markets of Unpassive, Africa, China, Asia, all the places that Unpassive are in, and, and the, the billions of people that we have to market to, they are going to come in, and when you have a superior product, and, and I've experienced this, guys, I've experienced it. When you have a superior product, you own the world, at least your little world, your little universe. And as, as Unpassive unfolds and you start to engage with Unpassive, you will, own your, 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 you will own your universe and that universe will expand. That is the assurance of Unpassive. Take this to heart. Understand what you have, what's going to be happening, and how you can come into Unpassive and have the assurance of success. And I'll end it there, Bob. There's so much to talk about. You guys touched on so many different topics and we could spend hours and hours on each of them. But in on passive, we have an assurance. It is what Mr. Bufar has done. It is the structure. It's what he's put together for you and I. I'll, I'll turn it back over to you, Bob. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Mike. Uncle Marty, any parting words? And then anybody who wants to say anything, just put your hand up and then we can. Yeah. Um... Great webinar. Uh, I want everyone watching this because a lot of you will be watching this well after the date that it came out. I want to let you know the reason we're all excited, me with the experience that maybe I do have or don't have, is because you're invited. And you have the same opportunity as everyone here. Uh Come take a look at it. Right now, at this date, there is no way to join. But when there is, find somebody on this screen or somebody that's in on passive. And for the love of God, don't let this go by. It, it truly will, all of you will get the same toolkit that we have where you reach in and grab whatever you want. And every tool fits everything you need. Like Mike said, if we have products that are in high demand, which we will and do at the cheapest available with the highest technology of AI, do you think it will sell? And now you hook that to a company from a CEO that wants you to be successful. His drive is for you to be successful. What do you think is going to happen? Okay, that's just common sense. That's why I'm here. That's why everybody you see is here. And it's it truly, if you don't at least climb the ladder enough to see what's over top of the fence, shame on you. But thank you very much, everybody. And I had a really, really good time today. Thanks for everybody. I would say something. Man, thank you. Let, let's just do a one minute quick one. Let's not just leave like that. Uh, brother. Yes, uh, comfort, please go ahead. No, Minu, Minu, words. Minu first. Minu wanted to go first. Okay, Minu, go ahead, Minu. I just was going to say that everybody who is watching and listening, stay plugged in. Go subscribe to all of our leaders' channels, YouTube channels. Promote them. Uplift each other. And uh, get the fact and um, translate all of these amazing messages to the language that you are having the skill for, for it. And that's my message. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Minu. Uh, Sister Comfort. 
Any parting oh. words, please? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Thanks. I, I was just listening. Like Mike says, we can stay till tomorrow because there's quite enough to talk about, but we need to behave ourselves. So, you know, um, let, let me go back to something Brother Oliver said. Ash says he's like, Ash is taking the risk for all of us. So business is risk free, not because it's risk free, but because somebody is shouldering that. Yes. And all we come for is the fine fruit, the crispy uh, apples. We bite and get the juice and the sweetness. So it's so it's so easy to get that because this just goes further to confirm the divinity of unpassive, which is even beyond Mr. Mufare. You cannot argue that. This takes me back to Papua New Guinea again. Uh, Daniel made a very serious uh, uh, revelation two days ago that a good percentage of people in Papua New Guinea don't understand unpassive. However, they trust the leadership. They trust the people who came in, who brought them in, and they trust whatever they tell them. And they believe because they, this risk, somebody is taking it. They just feel, that's, I'm just encouraging everybody to feel safe. You don't have to understand anything. But like um, Minu said earlier on, just wait. When we're ready and hear that the Heroes webinars, we're organizing training sessions again, come. We do a one-to-one -one basis. We do anything we can such that everybody, nobody would be left behind because the spirit of Mr. Mufara is so strong and penetrates deep down every fiber of anybody who buys his vision. So we are all fine. Nobody can do this. I don't know how Oliver came about this. It's all divine. Guys, we are just ready and good to go. Don't worry if you don't understand anything. And if you don't understand, don't explain anything. Just say you are excited about something. When it's time, I will let you know or get somebody get you understand. Don't go explaining. Just say you are really excited, but you can't explain. But when it's time, I will let you know. Unpassive is ready to go. And I think that Fields are wide, harvests are waiting, harvesters are getting ready to go to work. It's going to be fun, 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 joy, joy, joy. We are fine. Thank you, family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My brother Vincent Ete, ça vous la parole, mon frère. Oh, thank you, uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, to end, I think uh, let's uh, say it again. I know beginning, you said uh, today is uh, our CEO birthday today. So to hands, we wish uh, our CEO, Mr. Ashley Farah, happy birthday. And then also, thanks also God for his life. And also give us more wisdom and also uh, intelligence to lead us to this project so that well, we can also, at the end, do the humanitarian part of the Unpassing. Thanks, uh, everyone here today for this great audience. Thank you, my sister and brothers. Bye -bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, to my sister Francine. No fear. We are in the right side of the, the life and uh, just keep on moving. We are on the right track. No Amen. fear at all. No fears, no worries. Thank you so much. Collins Mana. Yeah, my brother, much, thank bro. you very much. <laughs> sometimes you are distracted because people think they have done so much in the world and the globe, and sometimes they distract you. But I want to say something before we close this. We are here because Unpassive has provided us the platform for us to make something out of it. If you think you have been a billionaire or a millionaire, you don't need Unpassive. Go around and do what you want to do. Don't sit and try to compare. We are not here for comparison. I'm not here to compare with Mary Digamo or to compare with Mike Ellis or to think about Oliver. Or I'm not here for anybody. I'm here because they have built a simple platform that I know I can strive without doing anything. Because if it was to be a marketer, I will not be here. I don't have a degree in marketing, but I'm not a marketer. I don't have the experience. That's what I would say. But I'm in IT. But I, you don't need to know even one line of code or to be Vincent or Bob Takusi or Bra Oliver or even Comfort or to be the best speaker, to be short, tall, black, white. No, Unpassive is not that. Unpassive built a platform which is equal opportunity for everybody. 
to strive. And if you are living on your past glory, on passive is not for you. On passive is not for you if you live on your past glory. Because if I was a millionaire, I don't need to be a non-passive. I can build my own business. If I can do what Mr. Ash Mufara is doing now, I don't need Mr. Ash Mufara. I can build my own IT company and, and be successful. I'm here because I cannot do it. Though I'm an IT engineer, I cannot do it. Even if I put everybody, I don't, I'm not in Mr. Ash Mufara's brain to come up with the architecture and the design to do this. We are here because we need on passive. So let us stop thinking about our past glory. I'm Mr. A or Mr. B. I'm Dr. This or Engineer This. It doesn't matter. Even a farmer with no education can hit this place and strive and become very, very successful. So I want to end this today to say on passive is for book and no book. For farmers, for builders, for whoever you think you are, if you come into Mpasi, you will be successful. It's an automated system, and the system will do it for you. You need just little knowledge to click and do this, do that, and you are fine. That's what I wanted to say. No distraction anymore in Mpasi. You, have, you can be successful, except you are not in. If you are in, you will win. That is it. That's what I want to close for today. And I just want to thank my old tech pro brothers. Thank Mari Digamo. Thank those who are sitting, listening, being on the fence. You don't need to know anything to be non-passive. No book. Even if you didn't go any school, you cannot even write a letter. Tell someone to sign for you. You'll be successful. That's what I want to say. Thank you very much. All right. Brother Oliver, some parting words, please. Thank you very much, Collins. You make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, we are winners. And winners, we don't quit. <laughs> you know? We are winners. Winners, we don't quit. But I, I just want to advise my fellow brothers and sisters that when the molars start coming, please humble yourself. We are servants. Humble yourself. Be respectful. And, do, and carry on with the work of God and what Ash has put in front of us, to, the humanity part, and to impact people's life. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And I'll just end by saying that the Ash Mufara Global Sweep is imminent. It's here. Very shortly, as we bend the curve from Australia to China, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, to Europe, all over Europe, Middle East, Africa, the United States, it's here. It's imminent. That juggernaut is here. You can't stop her. There's nothing we can do to stop her. It's here. And any moment from now, our founder is going to come out and he's going to give us some directives. And I'm very excited and I can't wait. I want to thank our brothers, our big brothers, Mr. Mike Ellis and Brother Madi. We miss the, that street, the dynamic trio of Messrs. Degamo, Ellis and, and Street. That's the key grip, the Habinga and the scribe of Unpassive. We thank all of them. I know Mike is not here, but I thank you all for coming. It has been very, very exciting having everyone here for these two hours, those who have been listening to us online. We're going to see you again in two weeks. In two weeks, the Otec Pros and founders around the world will be here. So thank you so much. And to that,